Day three of the test at Barcelona. It was a dry track, but it was cloudy, and there was an especially dark cloud over McLaren today. Jensen Button took the seat. By lunchtime, he'd only been able to go around 12 laps, and by the end of the day, only 21. The reason? The revised seal for the MG UK unit failed again. Now, they do say they've got a re-engineered version, which is coming for Sunday, so hopefully that will resolve the issue. Fernando Alonso doesn't even think they're going to be ready for Melbourne, which will be a shame. Toro Rosso, 17-year-old Max Verstappen, got the fastest time in the morning on the soft tyres. He went round at a 1 minute 24.7, and then he went on to complete the most laps of the day, with 129. Second in the lap table was a Ferrari driver, Sebastian Vettel, achieving 105. Although the day didn't start off great for him, three minutes into the morning session, he found himself spinning at turn five and then trying to cover up the back of his car so we couldn't see the secrets. What are they hiding back there? At Mercedes, Lewis Hamilton was still feeling a little bit under the weather, although he was well enough to take a cheeky selfie at the back of the Mercedes garage. They were concentrating on long runs and he managed to go around 96 laps. Pastor Maldonado at Lotus managed to get the fastest lap of the day again. Second time he's done that. Super softs are the tyres he was on. The 1 minute 24.3. Although we haven't seen Hamilton, Vettel, Kvyat or Massa do any performance runs today. Also at Lotus, they're sporting some very, very tight bodywork at the back of their car. It looks really smart. If you compare this to the Sauber, where they actually made the rear body work around the exhaust, etc., bigger for the Barcelona test compared to in Jerez. What does this mean? Maybe they had some overheating issues, meaning they needed to make the body work bigger, some more airflow. Lotus have made it smaller, they shrink wrapped it down. That means they probably have their cooling under control and they're doing the fastest lap. That's very good. At Williams, Felipe Massa took the seat for the morning and then gave it up in the afternoon for Bottas. Now Bottas didn't set a time all afternoon. He was enjoying 42 laps going around and coming in the pits every single time. What were they doing? Practice pit stops maybe? Or checking other things on the car? Daniel Kvyat completed a race simulation this afternoon. Pascal V-Line took the seat in the Force India car today. Now they were running the 2014 car with a few upgrades. Now they were gathering data on the compounds of tires. They totaled 81 laps. Carrying on from yesterday in the helmet dispute, of course drivers now have to have one design only for the entire year. But then of course this means we're saying goodbye to special edition helmets, tribute helmets, helmets that could be auctioned off for good causes by the drivers, etc. Do you think the FIA could maybe compromise? We have engine tokens now for upgrades. Do you think we could have helmet tokens? One, two, or maybe three times a year where a driver can have a special edition helmet for a special occasion, say a home race, or to support a certain charity. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up and remember to subscribe.